Peace and blessings, friends. My name is Wilner Colleagues. I am based in the United States. I'm currently in the beautiful Haiti, more specifically, the Plateau Central Department. I'm here to participate, to assist, and to observe a conference and practical training in agroforestry, more specifically, centropic farming. Centropic farming leverages nature's natural succession that creates condition so that food could be provided, could be produced in abundance. Natural succession heals the land, it regenerates the land, it creates life. And in the process of doing all of that, it reforests uh, areas that are barren, that has been affected by deforestation. Deforestation is a severe issue that affects every facet of life in Haiti. For instance, it affects sanitation, it affects the quality of air that people breathe, it affects the economy, it affects everything. But we're not here to talk about the problems, we're here to talk about the solution. Centropic farming uh, is a technique that has been used in places such as Brazil, places that has very similar climate to Haiti. Uh, so we see that the potential is great and we have been here at this conference that has lasted for about two weeks with participants who are now ready to take this technique to their communities. I would like for you to hear the feedback of what the participants from the community has said and how they plan to incorporate uh, centropic farming uh, techniques in their communities. Then we'll have a word with the instructor who is from Brazil and finally we'll end with a word with a small interview from the organizer. I'm excited. Let's go. I am James, um, um, I'm Haitian and I'm from um, Port-au-Prince. My name is Sean Darius, I'm here to participate in this wonderful conference uh, on centropic farming. Hi, my name is Aki, I'm from the Atibonit Valley and then I'm doing agriculture there and then it is a great pleasure for me to be in this area. I'm here at a Centropic uh, Agriculture Training. I've uh, been here for the last three days here uh, learning this agricultural method um, that has its um, that is that were founded by um, Ernst Gorch that is been that's been implemented in Brazil and now um, they're trying to bring it to Haiti to implement. And I was very delighted to see that it's, it brings hope um, in what we can do with agriculture in Haiti. Many times we say that uh, the soil can no longer give output. Many farmers are discouraged. Well, this uh, sort of uh, agriculture, I think, is a revolutionary uh, uh, sort of agriculture that will definitely benefit the, the poor farmers. This this system is a, is a very dynamic system, and um, it is it is it is built to 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 help uh, reforest. Uh, uh, um, the, um, the area where you implement it, and at the same time, you're you're also uh, doing agriculture. So it's uh, reforestation together with agriculture, while uh, while imitating the 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 ways of nature, the natural ways of nature, and the natural ways that the forest function. Any soil can be re can regenerate again if we give it the proper care. And uh, the, the system and the principles of centropic farming can bring uh, a level of abundance not uh, heard of uh, in Haiti. Where we plant things together, where we plant trees with foods and to have enough to feed ourselves and that can help protect the soil and protect the environment without destroying anything. I think it's a great model and then this is something if we practice that would help uh, improve the soil, improve the way that we do agriculture in the country. 
I've been learning a whole lot, uh, though that I've been doing my research around Centropic agriculture, but it's nothing like being on the field and experimenting it, putting it into work. And um, I really think this system here is, is a savior for, for Haitian farmers who's been struggling for years and years and with conventional systems that's been degrading their soil, that's been uh, really focusing on monoculture, and that's been lacking the, the, the benefit of, bio di of the diversity of, of, of cash crops that, that they're able to, to bring in. It may take some time for, for, for the Haitian farmers who are most in need of this, the poor Haitian farmers who, who don't have much uh, possibility uh, for bringing inputs into, into, the, into their, their areas, their properties, um, to, to, make their, to, to make their life better. But um, I guess with time, and with ex with experience of others and suc re success results from others, uh, we hope that um, you know some some farmers will take will take the advantage of uh, implementing this system into their own farms. So my name is Mauro. I'm a farmer from Brazil, and we are here in Haiti, uh, close to Pinon. Uh, we are doing a, a workshop uh, in agroforestry. And here is the, the place where we work during this week with the, the participants. And it's a, an area where we, we are focusing on regenerating the, the area and the soil. So we planted the three rows yeah, with lots of uh, local trees. And then our goal here is to, to, to make like a very dense consortium. Uh, based on the principles uh, that nature is working. So that's the, the idea behind uh, successional agroforestry. We work in a way where the, um, we observe nature, we, we learn with nature, we understand its principles of stratum, natural succession, uh, soil uh, coverage, and then we, we bring that into agriculture. So the idea here is that we can produce food, we have trees for producing biomass, so we can feed the soil with organic matter, so that's the key. You know, we need to bring back organic matter so the soil organisms can make all the nutrients that are here available for the, plant, the plants. So we'll, with that, over time, we start to increase our crops, increase the, the yields and regenerate the soil. So here, we, on the three rows, we plant bananas. And then after the bananas, you can see we put lots of cuttings. So we have mombing, we have gommier, we have glidicidia, and we have chaya. So these trees will be helping the system to, by producing biomass. And as we uh, prune them, they will, um, in, uh, they will give a, an incentive. Uh, they will give an information of growth for the whole system. So then we have our crops here. We have uh, corn. We have uh, we have pigeon pea. Uh, we have banana. We plant some mangoes, and those are the trees that will benefit from from the pruning and from this information and from the biomass that is generated. Um, our idea here is to, to do this first uh, uh, planting and then we, we will observe and learn from the, what we did here so we can improve and identify which species are doing better uh, since it's the first time we've been, we've been implementing here. And in between the three rows, we planted uh, grass, which will be feeding our system. We are producing grass, so it's a grass-fed system where we're gonna be chopping the grass and, and, and applying on the three rows to, to give organic matter. So we are con you can see that we are concentrating the organic matter because we don't have uh, that much. So together with the grass, we plant corn, we plant bean, we plant pigeon pea, which are crops that people usually grow here. 
and then we did another sample over there where we did vegetable garden so here in the vegetable garden we plant uh, eggplant we plant we plant uh, uh, pepper we plant uh, leek we plant uh, okra manioc so we did a consortium of vegetables uh, in between the lines so we concentrate the organic matter in the beds and then um, they will be helping to develop the system they are the first stage we call placenta one is the first stage of the the system and that will give space for the second stage which is placenta two then we we plant like manioc we put some um, uh, papaya and then from there our our system will develop as one organism you know, all together all right so we're here with uh, roger who is the organizer of the centropic gardening workshop and roger tell us a little more about yourself where you're from sure. and how you believe centropic gardening can transform haiti and trans and regenerate the soil in haiti and how adaptive it is this method is to haiti Sure. So my name is Roger Geetson. I'm uh, um, from Michigan, United States, Michigan. I'm a, a doctor and a father with two kids. And I started coming to Haiti in 2015 to do humanitarian work, initially medical work. But I saw quickly after I was here that a lot of the medical problems and a lot of the poverty problems um, had deeper causes that, that medicine couldn't treat. And um, I recognize the value of trees and the imp importance in the clean water and sanitation and also in, in restoring the uh, fertility of soil. And one of the things that I noticed when I first came to the country was the, the level of deforestation. And in 2016, I saw a video called Life in Syntropy and it uh, highlighted the work of Ernest, a, a Swiss researcher farmer who lives in Brazil. And it was that video that helped me understand uh, about centropic farming. And I was impressed with his ability to uh, transform soil and degraded land in Brazil by hand with just a team of guys and tools uh, into a forest that actually simultaneously parts of it were being cultivated for cacao production. And I looked around Haiti and the mountains here looked just like the mountain in Brazil that, that he started with. And uh, I could see how this was a viable solution. It could be done without uh, you know, heavy machinery or expensive tools. And um, it allowed uh, reforestation and encouraged people to recognize the value of trees without sacrificing things that they need for their livelihood. So I think on a, on a social level, it's highly adaptable because it, when you're in severe poverty, your needs are basic things like uh, food, building material, and, um, and, and uh, to care for the environment is important, but it can never be a primary driving factor. And so I felt like this was a solution that uh, would meet their immediate needs and simultaneously help care for the environment. How many exhibits uh, do you have in Haiti so far? So I have, uh, uh, I'm not going to use the word I, but there are eight uh, active farms that are applying centropic principles in different varying degrees uh, right now in Haiti. And only one or two of them are, are, are under my direct control because I travel back and forth. And the rest are, um, uh, there's another farmer who's doing it with, with a little bit of help from me. If uh, done and applied correctly, uh, approximately, is, is there a certain timeline that people will st begin to see results if done correctly? Yeah, so it depends on what you're starting with. I think if you have pretty good soil and you can get good crops, you can see, even with vegetables, you can see in the first harvest that you're going to get more than you normally would, that you can plant two or three times the amount of plants in the same garden. So potentially in a few months you could see results if you had good soil and you were following a good um, guide for growing vegetables. Uh, if you're trying to grow bananas or other uh, delayed products, it could take maybe two years or so starting with good soil. And somebody with really severely degraded soil, that is actually where I believe it's most powerful and most visible, but it takes longer as well. 
and that could be anywhere from three to six or seven years depending on how bad of a starting point you're, you're dealing with and how much money you have to work with inputs in the beginning. All right, any uh, final words and how you would want to encourage others to get involved in this work? Um, I guess I would, uh, I would say one of the most important things I learned about this is that the most important factor in this farming is the farmer and uh, just having a, a lot of land and resources available um, isn't enough and and so it's really a, it's a really a social method of farming that involves um, finding people who are are um, open-minded for a different way of farming and so i'm hoping this becomes more of a social movement that later can become a farming uh, uh, movement as well excellent Thank you, Roger. Okay, no problem.